September 24th, Saturday, will go down in infamy. This is the day you will remember in history. What we're talking about is the latest panic prepper video. And I shared it on Facebook, as I usually do, but weird, on Facebook this time it got 56 comments and it normally gets like one or two. Um, and I just happened to go over, oh, there's 63 comments now. So what we're gonna look at is just some of the comments um, on Instagram and there's, or on uh, Facebook. And there's a few of them also on the, on the last Panic Prepper video on uh, YouTube comments. And it, people are like, do you really believe this? You're gonna look so stupid when nothing happens. It's a fucking joke. We are making fun of it ourselves. Panic Prepper video is satire. And it's always funny when somebody shows up and thinks that it's a real video. And the crazy thing is, it's because they're watching so many of these videos that look just like this fucking fake video we make, some fucking weirdo standing with a bunch of bottles and canning jars behind him. I don't think people even realize what the fuck that is mm -hmm. behind us. This is a storage shed where we store stuff. We call <laughs> it the bunker, right? Panic prepper. It is, and another dude's like, you don't have to yell on your videos. That's part of the shtick, dipshit. Like, <laughs> listen lower. I don't know what to tell you. But it, it's funny that people will show up and comment some negative shit. We've been making videos literally almost since the beginning of YouTube. I have over 3,000 videos right now, and they show up for this one somehow they have found, which means it's working, obviously. Yeah. Um, Phil Blevins said, and this is, I, I, I know it's probably, a, he's, he doesn't put a lot in this, I know Phil. Um, what we talked about, what's the date? I still don't even know the date. The 24th. The 24th of this month, the 24th September of Sep Saturday. September 24th, Saturday, uh, will go down in infamy. This is the day you will remember in history, right? You have a, a German chancellor saying something about it. All of a sudden, this is preparedness month. You've got all this, all these things, all these government officials are talking about this, right? And alluding to. So we made a video making fun of it. There'll be a link in this video. You can go see it if you haven't seen the panic prepper video. We put it out yesterday. Um, and some of the comments, Phil says, don't laugh. A German dude said in a speech that people will never forget September 24th when he meant to say February 24th invasion of Ukraine. So 924, but should have been 224. Well, if you watch season 24, episode nine of The Simpsons, oh, you'll see it's about Homer becoming a prepper and joining the survivalist group. The episode originally aired January 6, 2013, and we all know that January 6th is now a significant date for Patriots. Oh, I never, I never fucking put any of that together. And what Phil just that. said is very factual. Like, Phil will yeah. be factual. He will be very, like, if you research anything he says, it will be fact. I think there's a little something to the uh, Simpsons. Simpsons because, absolutely. Well, who's the guy? It's not the Simpsons. The family guy guy was supposed to be on a plane one of the planes in september 11th and he was late for his flight for some reason i think they pulled him off maybe yeah. there, i think there's definitely something to the simpsons all the shit that has happened and come true over the years yeah uh so obviously something big is going to happen 924 that only preppers will survive it will include an emp event it will include an EMP event as a foretold in the simpsons episode and 10 days of no electricity nationwide during the ensuing chaos, Trump will retake the presidency, but lots of violence and mayhem will be going on. I am not making this up. This really is what folks have figured out. Oh man, I was hoping like, I hope I was, I was hoping because Phil, I was hoping because Blevins was saying it, that uh, there was some, I was excited for a moment. Um, okay, so Dakota Jordan, I don't know who that is, asked Phil Blevins, where is this written? Laughing my ass off. And Phil says, he puts a link to the QAnon, thinks something big is going on, um, Simpsons episode. Uh, I stopped reading the Q, dude. Too many dates have been missed. 
for that to be taken seriously. Uh, Dakota Jordan, I work with a Q person. She always has an answer when the shit inevitably doesn't happen. Um, they always do laugh out loud. It was cool to follow for a while. I'm, I'm with those guys, so let's go to the next. Uh, he lost me at Worser. Kathy uh, Krampasno, you lost me at your fucking last name. I mean, Worser. Do you really think you're watching a dude... I guess you're around people in your life that are really like that, right? So you think that that's real. But Worser, we wrote it that way on purpose, dumb bitch. Um, Kevin Mitz, they know that we know. That's right, brother. They know that we know that they know that we know. Um, Bill Adams, I've been hearing the doom since 2012. Every year it's going to happen. Guess what? It never does! He wrote it all capital. We know, Bill. And if you watched any of our other fucking videos, I don't know, like the one we did for two hours yesterday live on, uh, it was on Facebook and YouTube and Permapasture Farms and Living Free in Tennessee and Special Ops, you would know that I fucking said that. We know, dude. It's, 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 a, a, it's a joke. It literally, it's satire. So in reply, Bill Adams that's what I always say, too. Every year, some date. I remember hearing that crap since the 90s. And then Michael Metzger says, we were all going to be offed by the Russians in the 80s. I say all these things. Literally, I say it all the fucking time. Every fucking night, I do a live video on, on YouTube at 9 o'clock. And I say exactly the same fucking thing. So, I don't know how you saw this one video without seeing the other videos. The simple misstatement has spurned the most tinfoil hattery since George H. Bush used a particular phrase to describe the state of affairs and the collapse of the Soviet Union. Owen, I don't know about that, but would you dispute that the Bushes probably had something to do with 9-11? How about that third building that fell? Do you know that most people in the United States don't know a third tower had fallen? Do you know that? The uh, painting in Epstein's house, do you know about that? Yeah. With uh, Bush playing, yeah. Yeah, and the people jumping out of the, all the shit, yeah, yeah, out of the building. Uh, Sheila Rudder, I know her. Um, ah, the milk in my fridge expires on that day. Maybe I will hold off on buying more. Or maybe, just maybe, buy all the milk. Allegedly, Ryan Michael says, allegedly a solar flare that will knock out the energy grid or something some huge sunspot is facing earth and they think this ex that when it explodes it will destroy all satellites and completely destroy the power grid so i say that all the time i'm like i'm 50 years old every year of my life since i can remember something was going to destroy us or knock us out and recently every single week we have had some solar event that's going to cause a, the possibility of a, a coronal mass ejection wiping out the entire grid on the United States, whichever side is facing the sun at the time. Every week for the last two years, we've had that possibility. Luckily, it didn't hit the earth. But what can you do about it? Like if that's going to happen, you guys, if you're if you're watching anything, I say you guys are probably preppers or you've moved beyond survivalist and prepper and you're a homesteader now, right? So if you're living in that manner at all, you're probably as prepared as you can be. You can always be more prepared, but you're ahead of 99% of the world, right? So there's there's nothing we can, like, I, it's why we don't really, like, I don't make real videos talking about it. I'll answer people's questions and stuff as best I can. But at the end of those answers, it's always, so now that you know it, are you better off knowing it? Or are you better off not putting the mental capacity and headspace into it, right? And if we truly believe anything is coming of this nature, wouldn't we be better off having spent the last two or three years instead of panicking and developing a business and making more money so that we can be better prepared, right? All the time, like as a child, as a young, as a young man, I always wanted an AR-15. But you'd go to the gun shows and you wouldn't buy the AR-15 because it was 700 bucks or 600 bucks, right? So you'd buy an SKS because it was $100. So you had a bunch of SKSs, 
but you had no AR-15 rather than just saving up two or three gun shows and actually buying the AR-15. And had you bought the AR-15, it was a true AR-15, right? It said CAR-15, Colt, right? We're always worried, and it's because of endorphin release, right? Where it's, a, it's an addiction, just like an alcohol addiction, a sex addiction, whether it dumbs you down or speeds you up, it's the excitement. And now, especially with these things, right? You always hear people uh, insert themselves in my conversations. Hey, I wish I could do this or I want to do that. Don't ever tell me that because I'm going to try to figure out how to make you help you do that, right? And then immediately they're like, well, I can't because of this. I don't have time. No, what you mean is it's not important enough for you to stop doing bullshit in order to do that, which is okay. I don't care that you don't want to achieve or reach the next level. I'm totally fine with you being wherever you are in your life until you insert yourself into my life. Um, so what, when people say, I don't have time, let's say you work eight hours a day. Or, or at work, because most people don't work eight hours a day. You are at work eight hours a day. And let's say you sleep eight hours a day. That leaves you another eight. So what the fuck are you doing with your life for eight hours a day? Is it this? Is it television? Are you playing cards or Yahtzee? Like, what the fuck do you do with eight hours a day? Well, most people, in that eight hours that they go to bed, they are in bed for eight hours. They are not asleep eight hours. And they are on Amazon or they are on whatever group it is that they're a member of because people don't have friends in real life. We get accolades and feel accomplished by talking to people on the internet that we'll never meet. Um, and there's a lot of impulse buying. Very good at uh, social media is very good with targeted marketing. So we buy things. And if we're in the prepper space or the prepper state of mind, constantly we are buying shit. We are collectors, we are not preppers. We're prep tenders. We have no application. Half the shit we buy, we don't have batteries that fit it. Um, <clears throat> we buy a lot of food because it's inexpensive and we can get bulk, but we have no idea how to prepare beans. Um, stuff like that, right? So you feel accomplished. You feel this false sense of security because you were able to spend money. And that's an endorphin release. We actually get a high from that and you become immune to it. You have to do greater and greater things to achieve that same level. Um, and whether you believe that or not, I don't give a fuck what you believe, but that, that is the case. And until you realize that, nothing's going to change in your life. So let's read the next one here. Um, I haven't watched any of these panic prepper vids yet. The blurred out cat and chickens has me fucking crying. I think it's very funny. That in itself should tell you that this is not anything real. Like that, that should be all that's necessary. I think on YouTube somebody said, how come only some of the chickens are blurred out? And the response was, because the other ones are allies of the guineas. Like yeah. it's clearly a joke. <laughs> so when, he, when the dude said, uh, facing earth, locking out the satellites, Ryan Welsh replied to that and said, that would be sick. You think that would be sick? You, like, I haven't looked... I Typically, when I see a dude say that, I look at his page, and I'm like, I don't think you could walk... If your car broke down a mile out of town, you don't look like you could walk a mile to town, much less push your car, right? Like, those are... Like, if you think it's cool that the satellites go out, that probably means your grid's out, too. Um, now, whether you're... If, whether this is an issue for you or not, do you take any medications that have to be um, refrigerated? And maybe you don't, right? But do you know anybody that does, like your mom or your grandma? Um, do you require a CPAP machine to breathe and live through the night? Um, and then even beyond that, let's just talk psych medications, right? If you you know that most people, um, there were there's a lot of psych drugs, right? Lithium, Prozac, a lot of those. Not all of them fall into this category as much as others, but a lot of psychological drugs when they try to take people off the suicide rate is fucking through the roof like like insane um desperate people like without rule of law right if your satellites go out how much of your law enforcement communications go out right do you know have you ever like been out in public and you just saw some some people and you went the other direction so you know that hackles, right? You know that feeling when you get the, the, the hair raises, like some your sixth sense. Do you think that a lot of what holds civilization together is the fear of punishment, right? So if there's no fear of punishment, like there is no ring cameras telling on you, 
your cell phone no longer works, the surveillance cameras don't work, the parking lot lights don't work, right? Do you think that crime would be more apt if there was no repercussion? Do you think people would bring more crime to you? And I think that the answer is yes, no matter where you are, you would have to operate and maneuver in a very different element. And I know a lot of dudes are like, good, I'll get to use that gun I have. I get it, man, I get it. But what about your daughter? What about your mother? What about people in your life that you care about that are not there present? You can't protect all of them and it will affect somebody that you know, right? So I, I get what you're saying. I'm just throwing something out for maybe the one person that hasn't thought about that. Um, always, oh, here's, here it is. I always wondered about the psyche of someone who is looking forward to suffering of other. Okay, that's not what I was gonna, I thought, it was, I thought we were addressing the psych med thing. That's a big one that people don't bring into account. Um, if you go back and watch the World Government Summit video from March, the one world government is causing this collapse. This, they said on camera, they would reduce the world's population by 50% in 23. So whoever they blame us, so whoever they blame us losing power on, the people who are not asleep know who's doing it. Bombers, bomb and Michael. I don't disagree with you. I, I believe that whatever insidious shit we think is going on, I think it's very much beyond that even, right? In what manner? You can go back and find video of Bill Gates saying that um, years ago, right? We need to reduce the population of the world. That's their big thing, right? And when asked how would you do that, he said we would give them a vaccination that would sterilize them so the next generation wouldn't happen. And that's, that's what they always say. Um, you're preaching to the choir is what I want you to, to know. Like you're, you're putting this up maybe to dispute what we were saying. We were making fun of this, but I believe, I believe that there's something coming. Will it be that date? I don't know. Can I do anything about it? I can't. What is it? Saturday? It's going to be yeah. this Saturday. Mm -hmm. I might stay closer to home Saturday. Like <laughs> really I might. I mean, I have things I need to do. Typically we do on Sunday. Maybe we'll stay home on Saturday just in case. But on top of that, has there ever been some huge catastrophe where the public knew it was coming? No, but I do think like, oh, so why would they do it, right? Well, I, I believe you have madmen, crazy people, mm -hmm. right? And I think that um, they always telegraph their punch. Why would they do that? I think it's even more insidious than that, is that they get together on their fucking islands or their yachts out in the air, and they're like, well, I'm going to tell them that there's this thing, so they got to wear a mask. Mm -hmm. And the other dude's like, Okay, I'll take that bet and I'll raise you a billion dollars. I'm going to tell them they have to thread a light bulb into their <laughs> asshole, right? I think I really believe that it's something silly like that. Yeah. Something crazy. Um, apparently, the rapture is on Sunday and will be short-lived. Uh, Phil Blevins says, the rapture again? <laughs> Question mark. Uh, James Wyatt says, yep. Uh, no man knows the day or hour. Um, you, and then somebody says, you haven't been paying attention, FYI. I think it's all bullshit, but the same people that believe that this thread is about belief, uh, belief Sunday. Um, sounds like it's baloney to me. Okay. Here's, here's the thing guys. Like if, if we, I don't think anybody in this thread actually truly believes this. I think it's just poking poking the, the dog or whatever but mm. if you truly believe the end of the world's coming sunday saturday next year or whatever let's say if we truly believe that they're going to collapse society and the power is going out right you 100 you know it somebody told you right why are you still paying your property taxes why'd you pay the irs this year why don't you max out all your credit cards why don't you as a matter of fact we know for a fact that in three years, everything's turning off. Why don't you spend the next year or two really building your credit up and applying for lines of credit, max those motherfuckers out. Bank, like, I mean, just fucking do whatever you want to do for the next two, three years and don't pay any fucking bills. Because you don't 
believe that. There's always what if, because you know, we don't know. That's just it, right? We don't fucking know. Um, I like this one. So should I not get my car washed that day? <laughs> uh, I need to pick up my eyeglasses that day. Uh, now imagine a thousand times worser. Um, so you need to pick your eyeglasses up. The eyeglass comment, I like it. Um, are you guys aware there are sets of eyeglasses you can get that you can actually adjust your prescription? It, it moves the lenses. They're not the coolest looking, but if the end of the world came and every couple of years you need a new prescription, I think they're like 60 bucks. It might be worth to have a few pairs. A lot of people don't even realize they exist. Um, shit just got real. Oh, I see you commented to this oh, guy. Did, yeah. Realer than real than most realist. Uh, just out of curiosity, I'm going to look at NASA and see what the sun is doing. Of course, some will laugh at me for using NASA as a source, but anyway. Yeah, there's, the, um, so there's a, con I'll read the comment in a second, but are you guys aware, I think it was Venus, one of Venus's moons just hit the planet and has, it's wobbling now. The moon is no longer there, multiple rings. I could be wrong, it might not be Venus, but there is a planet that's in the solar system that just had some major catastrophe happen. You might wanna look into that. Maybe there's something to it. Uh, Jason Honrain, realer than, okay, we read that. Um, hmm, can't find anything except the equinox. So, where did all this crap come from? This is Christopher Katana. The politicians have declared doom and gloom for countless decades, one catastrophe after another, as they dive deeper wedge between citizens. The, pro the real problem is corruption of the government. I agree. And they divide and divide and divide, right? It used to just be white collar, blue collar. Then it was Republicans, Democrats, and it's blacks and whites, and it's gays and straights. It's just further division. Look how much division there is in people that are gun owners, right? It's the gun culture versus the community, or whatever the fuck it is, man. It literally is to divide you and get you to fight amongst yourselves and to further fracture you. Um, the powers that be that do these things, they don't do them for them. They do it for the next generation. It's to keep their, it's legacy. Um, I sell a... I celebrate my 42 anniversary join the Air Force. Right on, Robert. Um, Christopher Jones. I heard a working theory EMP strike makes sense with the upcoming elections, but who knows. Uh, deer season in Ohio. I like that one. It's going to be deer season in Ohio Saturday. Uh, Kevin Lynch. I'm prepared. Uh, Jonathan Bailey. What's up, buddy? I know you. Uh, will neither confirm nor deny whether or not coffee just sprayed across the room this morning after seeing this. Scott Terry's birthday. Happy birthday, man. Dave Morrison, ask Earth, Wind, and Fire. I, I know who Earth, Wind, and Fire is, but I don't get the comment. I think he meant Aquarius by, is it just hair? It's the age of Aquarius. Yeah. Okay. That's not Earth, Wind, and Fire, but I just, I took it as that. Okay. Uh, John Ryan Stewart, it's his birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, Ted Scott, I'm ready too for whatever they might do. Uh, Scott Hove, I'll be mowing my lawn. I love mowing. I would probably mow grass if I wasn't doing this. Um, I still, I mow up and down the highway even. Um, Michael Metzger, and in the 29th, can we laugh at you? So I'm not sure if this is Michael Metzger I know or not, but if it's the Michael Metzger I know, you should know this is a fucking joke. Like this video, the Panic Prepper videos are satire. So I'm always really surprised when dudes show up as though they were real. Um, here's another Michael Metzger. I was at a show and a guy was giving a talk on prepping. At the end, he, he took questions. Finally, one person asked why he kept laughing and smiling while talking about the aftermath of global decline. His answer was, he was finally going to show the women who turned him down who the ruler was when they couldn't say no. He said the men who laughed at him would be, his, would be in his command. Sadly, too many in this community remind me of that guy. So I like to, I like to point that out, right? Um, you might be strong and capable and ready, right? If your wife's not on board, um, like you could easily get overrun. Like, are you, are, do you think that you're the lone wolf guy, right? Are you gonna hide in a foxhole, 
or do you just think that your cabin is far enough out that people won't show up? The commodity is going to be women. It's, it's not going to be like every time a prison is overthrown, not, I mean, they rape men, but I mean, they're fucking, they rape the women. They get a hold of the women. That is going to be the hot commodity, right? You're going to see, and, and people labor, like they're going to use physical labor because everything, if the power goes out, anything happens has to be done by manpower, right? That's going to be physical fucking labor. You're going to have slaves and you're going to have sex slaves. That is, that's absolutely correct. And I, and I know what you're saying, Michael. I know that's not where you're taking this. I want to point that out for other people, right? Um, so this was, I think I, I hit all comments, but it doesn't always show you. Most yeah, relevant. Yeah. Now let's hit up um, the YouTube video. So we've got uh, Fabio says, glory to God. Uh, the Big Squirrel. I've been on YouTube since 2012. The only reason I'm still here is headed is I heeded the warnings from some of the prepper channels like Canada Dry Prepper. <laughs> I have avoided weekly apocalypse and numerous societal collapses due to the information as well as millions of dollars worth of survival equipment recommendations from such channels. Glad to see a new kid on the block taking the helm and not pay, playing around with the Panic Prepper 1. Uh, ain't no playing around. So he obviously knows this is satire. We know who that is. Um, Homestead for a Living, great channel. Uh, this is the most important content on the internet right now. He knows it's satire, clearly. Uh, damn it, I had plans on the 24th, level 2 noob. Uh, Matt Christopher here. Oh my, that's the best. Uh, Leonardo Von Horick. The biggest question is why did they blur the animals? Uh, polar bears with freaking laser beams. Uh, oh my God, these two turkeys were blurred out. What the fuck? Uh, smiley faces. Um, a lot of smiley faces. Uh, only the nose knows. Hose knows. Uh, more smiley faces. Uh, be the intelligent sensible human I know you are if we believe the paranoid rhetoric then we have lost our minds and society please people fight the stupidity Rhonda Davis uh, I said you do know this is satire right maybe you don't we have literally 3,000 videos on this channel watch another one of them probably another unseen comment YouTube be shady actually we saw your comment uh, sir, there is no need to scream your entire video. Not all of us are hard of hearing. That's what subtitles are for. And my reply was, this probably is not for you. You have completely missed the point. You should move on and find videos more to your liking. And then Scott Hensey had a wonderful comment, you're clueless. And I said, look in the mirror. This video is satire, making fun of ourselves. How did you get here? We've made 3,000 videos, but you show up to talk trash on the comic video? Examine your own life. And then some little cunt named Mike uh, fixes my, uh, any, it should have been Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. Sorry, my smart device didn't uh, fix that. Uh, the fact is that I make more money in the time it would take to correct that like you just did. I make more money in literally that amount of time, then you probably make in an entire paycheck. So I just want you to know to fuck off um, with your spelling Nazi shit. Um, and also, thank you for finally commenting on the channel that we put three to five videos every day on, Mike. Um, way to have conviction and use your last name. Let's click on Mike's page and see. So Mike has, oh, wouldn't you know, no fucking videos and has been on the internet for seven years. So, oh wait, he does. He has a picture of his dog and he has another, you know what video he has, Mike? Mike has a dog, a picture of his dog taking a shit. That's the person that's worried about my spelling. Awesome. Panic Prepper 1 is satire. We are making fun of, like the first, if you guys look at the first videos I did, they were literally, I would watch other Prepper channels and remake their video in a more ridiculous manner. That's what Panic Prepper 1 is. We have fun with it. It's funny that we are getting some kind of traction where people show up and think it's real, though. That's that's mm -hmm. interesting. It means it's working. Yeah. So we'll keep doing it. But especially since we've had so many, like yeah. I mean, we have, we don't have hundreds, but we've got a lot. So take this video. 
mm. and we'll put it up um, we'll put a link to this video in the panic prepper mm. we'll put a link to the panic prepper in this one so if you hadn't seen it but more importantly I'll take the link the rebuttal and put it to all these little twats on the Facebook page okay cool. and if you guys aren't sure what we're talking about and you actually want to participate it's always a good time mm -hmm. if you especially on a well it's Thursday on a Friday night maybe um, it's the where I posted the, the URL to the video link on Facebook, that's where there's 63 comments and it's growing rapidly. So it's probably still going to continue. Have fun. Yeah, man, I'm talking about realists, one of the realists.